And welcome back now to Face the Nation. It is hard for those of us in the West to understand the motivation of the radical jihadists. So we asked CBS News correspondent Clarissa Ward, who has covered the rise of radical Islam and the war on terror around the world, to give us her thoughts on that. She filed this report from Paris. More and more men and women in the West, like this week's attackers, are being drawn to radical Islam, and often not for religious reasons. Many of them feel disempowered and marginalized in their own societies, and extremism can provide them with a sense of purpose and belonging. I will fight anybody. A few months ago, I traveled to Syria and met Yilmaz, a 26-year-old jihadi from Holland. He once was a soldier in the Dutch army, but is now focused on fighting those he considers to be enemies of Islam, among them the West. This fight never ends, never ends. This is our religion, this is our faith, this is what we believe in. Yilmaz is one of an estimated 3,000 Westerners who have gone to Syria and Iraq to join the Jihad. Saeed and Sharif Kouashi, the brothers responsible for Wednesday's massacre at a satirical magazine, both spent time in Yemen. So why are more and more young Western men traveling to conflicts far from their homes? France, with its colonial ties to North Africa, has the largest Muslim population in Europe. Much of it is concentrated in the banlieue, the poor suburbs that surround Paris and other major cities. Known for high crime, high unemployment, and poor integration, they have been the sites of periodic rioting, making them fertile recruiting ground for radical Islamists. Lokman Mergad is a social worker in one of Paris's larger North African communities. A lot of people try to say this is a religious issue when it isn't. If the societal problems were improved, he told me, I think the situation would be better. But misery only begets misery. While the world's eyes are on France right now, the U.S. could also be vulnerable to an attack. In Syria, I met an American fighter from the Midwest. Would you support a terrorist attack on the United States? I wouldn't consider it a terrorist attack. Even if innocent women and children were killed? What I consider a terrorist attack is these tomahawk bombs being shot from wherever they're being shot from and killing innocent people. There's no tears being shed from me if something happened to in America. Jihadis who have traveled to Syria and Iraq are not the only threat. In powerful propaganda videos, ISIS has urged all Muslims at home in the West to take whatever they have at their disposal, uh, a gun, a knife, a car, and use it to go out and kill. And while the politicians here are searching for answers, many people fear that these types of attacks will become more common.